Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure making these videos for you guys, and I really, really appreciate the, the feedback and the likes and comments. Um, and all of you who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to all of you for subscribing. It really means a lot to us. We're, we're a small little channel. We've just started, and all of your help is 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 really a blessing to us and um i i would i would really encourage you guys if you if you like what we do if you like the videos that we put out please uh consider subscribing and uh, every time you watch a video give it a like and if you find it useful uh or you think it would be useful to to a friend please share it on your social media show it share it on facebook share it on instagram wherever you want to put it just go ahead share it and it's going to help our channel grow. It's going to give us valuable feedback on how we can improve. And, um, you know, it, it means the world to us, you know. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for that. And um, today I want to talk to you about flight planning. Now, it's, an, it's a very important part of the flight, obviously, because, you know, you ain't going flying nowhere if you don't plan it. Um, and most of you want to do this practice on your computers at home and there's tons of websites out there that will probably give you flight plans but for me personally i i have a i have a few that i personally use to create flight plans for simulation purposes um, and this is going to be slightly different from a real world environment now in the airline obviously when i get to the flight operations department of the airline i have an entire team of people uh, of flight dispatchers whose job is to create flight plans and um, do all of that for me and they just present it to me brief me and then i take it from there um but if you're flying if you're flying at home or you're flying in a flight simulator you're gonna have to do it yourself so these websites that i'm about to show you i hope will help you uh create nice effective flight plans so uh the first one is simbrief so simbrief is this flight planning tool that i use to create real world detailed flight plans and um, and then there's another website that I use to do my performance calculations as well so all the links uh, to these websites will be in the description box below so you can check it out uh, whenever you like uh, so let's start with the flight plan today I want to take the aircraft uh, from Dubai International Airport where we are right now um, to Doha uh, in Qatar so it's a short flight and I just need to create a flight plan for that. So when you go to SimBrief um, and you've created, a, uh, you've created your own login, this is what you're greeted with uh, as your dashboard. So as you can see, my last flight was um, from Dubai to Muscat International in Oman and I flew the 320 there. So today I'm gonna create a new one to go over to Doha. So I'm gonna come over here, click create new flight plan. And then you're greeted with this screen over here. So you start just punching in details. So for the airline, it's going to be WPA, Waypoints Aviation. Flight number is going to be 320. I'm leaving Dubai International Airport. I'm going to land in Oscar Tango Hotel Hotel. That's uh, Hamad International in Doha. And as my alternate, I want Oscar Mike Alpha Alpha, which is Abu Dhabi. You can type it in manually or you could just click auto and then it's going to choose an airport at random which it thinks is a good alternate. But since I know I want my alternate to be Abu Dhabi, I punch it in manually. Then when you come to the next line, it's asked you for the aircraft type. Now the cool thing about the website is as you click on that, it's got tons of aeroplanes out there. Airbus, Boeing, Cessnas, um, you know, Falcons, uh, even the TBMs are there. Um, and you can choose from them. McDonnell Douglas MD-11. I would love to fly that aircraft. Uh, Learjet 45. Well, that was one of the first jets I ever flew. Um, but you know what? Uh, I've been. A, there's a section where you can create your own airframe. So I've done that over here, and I'm going to click on that, and that's my airframe right there. It's an Airbus 320, registration Alpha 6, Alpha Mike November. So uh, click on that, and now it's going to load up all the parameters of my uh, of my airframe. And for some reason, it changed this back to the old airport in Doha. So I'm going to just put it back to Abu Dhabi. And it's going to do its work. Lovely. All right. So now, scrolling down, 
got some more information to put in cost index i'm going to take 25 today and i'm going to i do not touch any of these things over here uh registration is correct tail number is correct and the cell call is correct coming down here our selections um, i like to choose the lido layout for my charts uh, for my flight plan but then there are so many out there that you can choose from whatever works for you go for it i want to check that the airx cycle that's our navigation database that we are referencing the current one it's valid till the 17th of may so we're good to go always make sure this is correct and also you want to cross check with the mcdu that that's correct as well and over here you can choose what you want you know plan step climbs uh, i'm not going to be doing step climbs i'm not going to be doing etops um no times i'll take the no times and the runway analysis and i'll get a ne detailed navigation log now over here you can choose your units kilograms or pounds i'm going to stick to kilograms uh, my flight plan, my flight maps, I want them to be detailed. You can take the route only, simple or none, but I, I like a detailed uh, flight map. And since I'm going to be taking off on tree zero left, I'm currently parked at Foxtrot 9. And the expected runway today is tree zero left. So that's uh, quite a bit of a taxi away. And it's Dubai International Airport. So I'm actually going to change this to 30 minutes as my taxi out time. And when I land in Doha, it's also a pretty busy airport. I'm going to give myself about 10 minutes taxi in. So that's going to kind of contingency my fuel for that. Now the contingency fuel that I want to take, you can keep it at auto, but I personally go with 45 minutes of contingency fuel. That's my bare minimum that I always want to have. And my reserves, I'm going to keep it as auto. You can take none or whatever, but I'm just going to take uh, auto. Alternates, you can choose one alternate up to four alternate airports along your way. I only, I'm taking off from Dubai and I'm going over here to Doha. So um, for me, it just makes sense to have Abu Dhabi as my alternate. So I'm just going to stick to one alternate for today. Uh, coming down here. Scheduled block times one hour 15 minutes uh, taking off three zero left and Expecting to land on runway three four right now You can click and change them should the weather change while you're doing your flight plan You can always change it on the fly as you like I'm gonna keep them as they are and today. I'm gonna cruise at 21,000 feet because it's a pretty short runway and my extra fuel You can take minutes um, You can take minutes or kilograms um, I usually go with about 60 minutes of extra fuel, another hour that I need, just in case, you never know. And uh, passengers today, we've got a full load, 180 passengers. I'm going to keep my freight as auto. And today, according to our load sheet, our zero fuel weight today, you can keep it as auto, but I want to... I need to change that because I have a specific uh, weight that I need to plug in. So my zero fuel weight today is 59,516 kilos. So that's pretty much what I have um, set up in terms of my zero fuel weight today. And if you scroll down some more, it's going to show you the actual route that you're going to be flying. So this is pretty cool because it gives you the SID, it gives you the routes that you're going to fly along. And then it gives you the star that you can use to get back in and as you can see it's a distance of 267 nautical miles and uh, we're on the updated Eric so that's pretty much the route that's the route over there taking off from Dubai all our waypoints in there and uh, just in case of an emergency we've got our alternate in Abu Dhabi cruising right along all the way down to Doha where this is going to be the star that we follow down towards the airport and probably join an ILS to come in for a landing all right everything's looking amazing so once you've plugged in all these details it literally takes two minutes to do it you click generate flight so it's going to do some internet magic and there we go it's now building the flight plan all right, I've got a little payload cargo limit over there. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Briefing was generated. We can discard that. And that's our flight plan for today. 
so we've got 186 uh, we've got 180 passengers on board our empty weight is that much zero fuel weight is that much and um, everything's looking good over here so now because I chose to take 45 minutes contingency and another 45 minutes as extras it's telling me a block fuel of, of 10.8 tons uh, so yeah um, I'll probably make a few changes later on because uh, I don't really need to take that much fuel but the entire flight plan is done now and once you do this you can download the flight plan into any kind of format you like uh, so if you click download you can actually choose what kind of simulator program you're running and you can download that kind of file which you can then later load up into your flight simulator so you can play around with this as you like uh, but I don't need to download it um, so I'm just gonna view the flight plan and here it comes so as you can see we've got our flight plan today's date there's the um, there's the origin and destination and our cost index right over there here's our fuel the zero fuel weight that's now being calculated and of course uh, that's the maximum and then this is our calculated zero fuel weight and as you can see now it's telling me how much fuel I'm gonna be needing for the trip how much extra fuel I'm gonna be taking which I'm gonna change uh, and as you scroll down it now will give you the uh, the this is the alternate route, Oscar Mike Alpha Alpha, expecting to land on runway 31 left, and that's the route we can take to get there. And over here, you can see the, the routing information, taking off from Dubai, 30 left, Nabix 3 Foxtrot, taking us to Nabix, then we're going direct to Gidob, then direct to Alnev, direct to uh, Eggpop, and by the way, DCT means direct to, and uh, Asnax and then basically we we come to Mechmar where we can join the Mechmar 1 Romeo star for a potential ILS into uh, runway 34 right so that's how you create the flight plan okay so you go to sim brief you create the flight plan then you can view it download it load it into your sim pretty much as you like now once I'm done with that I have all these details with me right now so what I need to do is I need to plug in some information now I want to do my performance calculation I need to know my V speeds I need to know if I can use a flex takeoff today or not so what I'm gonna do now is I go to this website over here it's a free website that's the website up there the link will be in the description below and this is what I'm gonna use to program or rather to uh, to get my performance calculations um, in the actual aircraft uh, on my iPad I have a proprietary software that's given by Airbus catered to the airline so um, it, it it does the calculations for me um, but then this is kind of a internet free version of that same program so I can vouch that this is for and there's a disclaimer this tool is for flight simulation only so don't jump in a real airplane and use this that would be slightly illegal anyway let's uh, let's program the uh, flight plan I mean the performance shall we so we know from our flight plan that our takeoff weight is going to be 68,403 kilos all right that's our gross weight so here's uh, I'm gonna come here I'm gonna select these are all the various Airbus variants I'm gonna select a320 and our gross weight I'm just literally gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste it here make sure it's in kilograms and our center of gravity according to our CG today our CG says that our center of gravity is 28 percent so I'm gonna put 28 in there and configuration because we have a nice long runway in Dubai International Airport I can take flaps 1 but I could also use flaps 2 or 3 for takeoff but flaps 1 plus F is going to be more than enough anti-ice will be off because it's it's warm in Dubai so we don't need anti-ice and the air conditioning can be on now if I was very heavy and if the the, the temperatures were very high that the performance of the engines could could be reduced I would go with the with the air conditioning off which means just as I roll onto the runway um, I would need to switch off the packs for the takeoff which is going to deliver more power uh, to the engines but today I don't really have that problem so I'm gonna go air conditioning on my 
IQ code for do, for the airport I'm taking off is OMDB and I'm gonna select runway 30 left it automatically knows once you put it in it's in the database it gives me the uh, runway length in meters I can even choose feet if that if that uh, it's uh, if that suits you uh, runway track which is 299 dry the conditions are dry I can change it if it was rain I can change it to wet but I'll keep it as dry and the airport elevation which is correct so that's pretty much all that's there now if you are not using live weather you can plug in the details here the QNH for today you can choose hectopascals or if you're in America inches of mercury uh, the temperature outside the wind di the wind direction and the wind speed but I can click on this and it will get the meet our data for me so as as I can see this is actually correct to what I have right now it is in fact a Q&H of 1009 -er. 33 degrees is the temperature outside 260 uh, winds are coming from 260 that's like a northwesterly wind at 8 knots so we've got all this information in there now all we got to do is hit calculate and as simple as that it tells me that my V1 is going to be 148, my VR is going to be 148, and my V2 is 153. Flaps 1, that's my trim according to my center of gravity. So that's the trim I'm going to put in there for my takeoff, <clears throat> which is my THS. And I can do a flex takeoff of 68 degrees. And uh, the transition altitude is not correct because the transition in Dubai is actually 13,000 feet. But I'll ignore that for now. Thrust reduction acceleration, that's the point where after takeoff, um, the aircraft tells you to go from your flex or toga detent into climb detent on the thrust levers. So this can you can choose what you want it to be. So it's given me 860, which is about 800 feet above ground level. Uh, generally, I keep it at the stand at 1500, but this can all be changed. But the main numbers I needed for my takeoff are my precious V numbers. So obviously V1 being the point of no return. So when I hit one, uh, 148, whatever happens, I'm not stopping on the runway, I'm going up. VR happens, and it's very common in the Airbus 320 uh, for the V1 and VR speeds to be identical or very, very close to each other. And here's my V2, minimum speed that I need to maintain in case I have an engine failure. All right, so I've done my performance calculation. I've done my, uh, I've got my flight plan. So coming down to the route page, which is page two. Uh, so runway 30 left, Navix 3 Foxtrot. So I downloaded the Navigraph charts. You can download it for Mac, for Windows. You can choose it for Mini. I'm gonna hit search over here. I'm gonna put OMDB. That's my airport that I'm taking off from, OMDB. And I wanna first take the taxi chart and as I scroll down, I'm looking for the 10-9, which is the airport chart. And as you can see, that's the layout of the airport. And I'm parked at gate Foxtrot 9. So I'm in apron Foxtrot right over here. So I'm going to push back, nose to, nose to left. I'm probably going to taxi around. Uh, I'll probably take taxiway Zulu. Then I'll take uh, Zulu 9. And then I'm going to come down to... Uh, taxiway Kilo which is the outer taxiway and I'm gonna go straight down taxiway Kilo all the way down to probably Kilo 16 or Kilo 17 uh, and then line up on the runway and then away I go so this kind of gives me an idea of what the taxiway you can always look at different charts to get to find where so that's my gate right over there these are detailed taxiway uh, markings that you can use uh, for navigation along the ground and you'll see these markings on the ground you know as you as you move around the airport and uh, what I'm concerned now is I want to look at my SIDs so my SID for today is you're right Nabix 3 Foxtrot so I come back to my charts look at SID I can type it in there so if I put Nabi it should complete it for me. And here you go, Nabix 3 Foxtrot. So Nabix 3 Foxtrot right over there. Click on that. And this is my SID. This is my SID chart for my departure. So as you can see, the Nabix 3 Foxtrot, it has us taken, it's, it's, it's applicable to runways 30 left and 30 right. 
that's the frequencies that we're going to be using transition altitude is going to be 13,000 feet to do this you need to be an RNAV one aircraft GNSS is required and um, all turns uh, are required with 25 degrees of bank angle and remain on the tower frequency until instructed to change do not climb above ATC cleared levels so pretty much what we have to do is we'll take off on 30 left right over here and uh, we're gonna fly the minimum speed by the time we get to our first waypoint which is Delta Bravo 570 our minimum speed should be 180 knots um, the Airbus 320 is very powerful I'll be uh, I'll actually be pretty pretty fast and then since we're doing Nabix all right so which one is Nabix you can see here these are the various SIDs the various routes you can take to get out of out of the country so I'm concerned with Nabix Street Foxtrot so from here I'm gonna make a left turn go to Delta Bravo 5, 586 minimum speed would be 190 knots and you see these numbers these are altitudes now there's a dash underneath which means I have to be at this altitude or higher all right so that's the threshold that's why the line is underneath so I cannot but when I'm here I cannot be below 2,500 feet then from there we're gonna go on to Delta Bravo 587 and that requires a maximum speed of 220 knots so I cannot exceed that speed and I need to be at a minimum altitude of 3,500 feet all right and then um, Delta Bravo 410 for about 10 miles then to LOPAP and then from LOPAP it's another 12.8 miles finally to Nabix and that's where I would exit uh, the SID and then I'm pretty much in international airspace and I'm following routes internationally over to Doha so from Nabix I would then get on to I'll go to Gibob and then from Gibob to Alnev and so on until I come to uh, the star all right so that's pretty much how I do my flight planning I hope you found this useful if you did give it a like and a subscribe and uh, and subscribe if you haven't and uh, thank you so much for watching share this with your friends and stay tuned for more videos coming up thank you so much for tuning in have a lovely day